Okay, family, I'm back. And as you can see, you can actually see in there now, right? So. Okay, family, y'all can let me um, tilt the camera so y'all can see There's some, some more um, squash. So that is my harvest for today. We got about mm, 10. That's still good. But as you can see how I opened it up, you can hardly see in there. I can actually see now. And I'm so glad I did that. But I'm going to tilt the camera so y'all can see the pile of leaves that I took off. And I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to chop and drop these. These are going out to the back because a lot of them have those eggs on there. And I don't want them eggs in my raised bed. So, let me tilt the camera so you guys can see how much I took off. So, y'all see right there how much I took off. And you can actually see in there now, before I couldn't even walk on that side or the back of that side so I actually can see what's going on now and I'm glad I took off that much because that's a lot of it one of them bugs right there that's a that's a lot of um leaves y'all and if you're not careful they'll continue to lay eggs lay eggs and then they'll start boring into your um your stem they'll chop them right off so one of my stems looked it really worn and I could tell they got to it. So I just chopped that whole stem off. Let me show y'all. Y'all see that? So I chopped that whole thing off. Even though it looked like it still had some life with some um uh um what is it? Uh oh gosh, eggplant, zucchini, squash. And I was like, no, I don't want to take a chance. But as you can see, I hope y'all see that footage that I did get as far as these um these spider mites whatever the hell they are I hate them but see when I was chopping the leaves this is what I was going after they was literally already hatched so they was tiny the little little uh, legs looking like hairs uh-uh they gotta go so I'm gonna um get all of this to the back I'm not even going to chop and drop. I'm just throwing these to the back and let them decompose back there um, towards the back. And there's some other things. Oh, sorry, you guys. Get y'all over here. So, um, I hope this was informative to you guys because I know some people was asking, should you should you prune back your, your squash? Yeah, you got to. You have to because... They will continue to lay eggs everywhere on these leaves. And once they begin to hatch, they start digging in these stems, looking for that sap, and they will wreak havoc. And I experienced that last year, so I said I wanted to go hard and pay attention to these bugs and hopefully catch them before they start going crazy. So I opened it up, give it some air circulation, some sun, and I'm gonna spray it uh, with my spray, my neem oil and soap, and hopefully that keeps them down. But again, I saw them on the leaves, I was like, let me get them out. Okay, you guys, so I hope y'all um, are having a great Wednesday, hump day Wednesday. And there's some more um, projects that I wanna do around the um, yard, and I'll bring you guys some more footage on that. And I'll see you guys on the next video. This is SC, the, the homesteader. Peace.